Easter is the holiest day in the Christian calendar. It is the day of Jesus Christ's resurrection from death. So what does this miracle have to do with the bunny and painted eggs? The answer lies in a hundred generations of rituals and customs. According to the Gospels of the New Testament, Jesus Christ and his apostles entered Jerusalem to observe Passover. Passover is the Jewish holy season that celebrates the Hebrews' release from slavery. After the Passover supper, Jesus was arrested on now what is called Good Friday. He was crucified. Two days later, he rose from the dead. Those of Jewish origin were the first to celebrate the resurrection, likely as a new facet of the Passover. In fact, the Easter celebration was called Pasha. The celebration is still called Pasha, stemming from Pesh, the Jewish Passover, except in German and English language speaking countries where it is called Easter. Most historians agree that since German and English speaking countries use the word Easter, the derivative is that of the German word for resurrection or risen. The same word as east, which is the direction in which the sun rises. Originally, Easter was celebrated two days before Passover, although it fell on any day of the week. But Easter Wednesday just didn't feel right. In 325 AD, the Roman Emperor Constantine and the Council of Nicaea ruled that Easter must fall only on a Sunday, the day when Christ rose. Easter Sunday would be the first Sunday to follow the full moon after the spring equinox. It could occur anywhere between March 22nd and April 25th. Around this same time, Christians began one of the first recorded rituals on an Easter celebration. The lighting of the paschal candle aflame in reminder of Christ's resurrection to create light out of darkness. Worshippers placed a lamb under the altar to be blessed. Lamb had played a sacrificial role in Passover. So early Christians portrayed Jesus as the Lamb of God. As Christianity spread throughout Europe, different pagan rituals blended into the holiday. Eggs have been a mythological symbol of fertility for thousands of years. Christians have adopted eggs as an Easter custom somewhere around the 13th century. The yolk inside the shell symbolized Christ's emergence from the tomb. Spring is always a reason to celebrate life after a cold, dark winter. Eggs were painted red to represent the blood Christ shed on the cross. The colorful Easter egg soon hatched its own traditions. A popular one was egg rolling. In 1876, Congress prohibited kids from playing on the Capitol grounds. So President Rutherford B. Hayes opened the White House lawn to the Little Rollers. After that, the White House Easter egg roll became a tradition. So when did that Easter bunny hop into the scene? Around the 16th century, parents told children that if they behaved, the ostriches would come and lay colorful eggs. Children built nests in their homes to entice the rabbit to visit and so began the Easter egg hunt and the Easter basket. To help fill out those baskets, 19th century European chocolatiers began making chocolate Easter eggs. This sweet trend quickly spread throughout the world. My favorite holiday tradition is the Easter lily. White lilies were found growing in the Garden of Gethsemane on the grounds where Jesus suffered with blood, sweat, and tears. Easter lilies commemorate the resurrection of Jesus Christ and hope of life everlasting. And that's our Easter celebration in America.